Hi guys, it's Wombat. And EAA 5.0 consists of more than 70,000 kilometers of roads. It doesn't only cover uh, Brazil these days, it covers a lot of other countries surrounding Brazil as well. And from that perspective, I wanted to start my own exploring of EAA by going over some of the most dangerous roads that exist in South America. So I went to a website called SouthAmerica.travel. They have a list of the most dangerous roads in South America. And from that list I was able to pick two roads that exists on EAA. Uh, from the list, the first road is a very famous road, I think many of you have heard of. It's the Jungas Highway or the Death Road in Bolivia. Unfortunately, that is not included on EAA today. My prediction is that it will be available at some point in the future. But another route that is available is the Paso de los Libertadores in Argentina and Chile this road that we are looking at right now and if you find that uh, road familiar it's simply because it is a road i drove on on the uh, mapa brazil total x which i did a review of some time ago it is now part of eaa and we're gonna do a quick look at it today again here is where you find it you start in los andes and then you have three sections of extreme serpentine roads before you reach the top of the Andes and then there on out down to Mendoza it's simply downhill more or less. Not necessarily any easier but there is no doubt you will make it down in some form. Anyway, um, here you have it. Here you see the first sector of the three climbs you go through. And from the bottom there and up to the top, it takes about 30 min minutes or so, um, or six hours in the game. It goes on for what feels like forever. And as you can see, there, I don't have much speed either you're uh, using your crawler gears uh, many times and i'm lucky my cargo here weighs 26 tons despite being uh, distributed evenly on my two trailers i could have made it easier on myself and i think that in real life people wouldn't be trying to do double trailers here but that's what i did because i'm stupid um, and lucky I managed to get over the top and down to Mendoza without any accidents. Uh, a bit of luck with the traffic as well, of course, um, especially through the serpentines, you need to be lucky on that part. Uh, once you have passed through over the first uh, one third of the serpentine roads, you get to relax a little bit before it. Uh, takes off again for the second part and later on the third part you will get to the top eventually and from there on out it's it's more or less downhill so what you need for this is a very very powerful truck I'm using the 730 which I basically almost is using when I'm hauling in a new truck I would like to try this road out with an old truck as well, but I won't be able to haul a double trailer. Uh, I will certainly not be able to haul 26 tons. Um, but with a 730 it's powerful enough and I managed to do it with only the 12 speed transmission. I didn't have the 12 plus plus the two crawler gears even. But crawler gears is is highly recommended especially if you're doing something heavier than the 26 tons i did 
So, but this this road, it's a ton of fun. Uh, the scenery could be better. The scenery is an improvement compared to what it looked like on uh, Brazil Total X, uh, but it it's, could still use some, some further improvements. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it, as I said, it, it goes on and on and on, and you're just seeing a few clips of it. And here you have me finally reaching the top. And the dumbest thing you can do once you've passed that milestone is to relax. Because you will still have hairpins, a lot of them, to deal with. So letting your truck get some speed and going into one of those hairpins will tip your truck over, for sure. Then you get reach the tunnel and from there on out it's still downhill but more regular roads. And that's the first route I wanted to show you. The second one uh, you'll find if you go from Liverpool in UK on the map and then go straight left until you reach two cities called Porto Velho and Manaus. And from Manaus to Porto Velo, there's a hidden road. It's about 500 miles of hidden road. And you reach it if you go from Manaus and take the ferry to Carairo. Now, Carairo is a small city. It has nothing but the city itself and a tiny piece of road. And from that road you go directly on to route 319 and you'll get to haul on some spectacular gravel flooded roads. Um, to quote the South America.travels website, they say what makes this highway particularly troublesome is the state of the road itself. Poor construction methods and flooding during the rainy season has washed the road away and destroyed wooden bridges. So, you kind of know what's waiting for you once you start hauling on this road. But before you do that, make sure you fill your gas tank and get some rest, because once you reach this point here, there will be no more truck stops until you reach the end of the road. There are a couple of gas stations on the way, but if you have a limited amount of fuel, you probably won't make it. And you're in the Amazonas, so don't expect anyone to come help you anytime soon. At one of the two gas stations, there is also a service point, uh, so if you pick up damage, there is at least uh, something you can do uh, other than just haul slower, um, which is the best thing to do, of course. But as you can see here, uh, there's a huge variety of different kinds of damaged roads to haul on, on this route. I think it's a pretty good interpretation of what it probably looks like in real life. Not that I've ever been there in real life, but it feels authentic. It's it's not like you're holding on something um, looking exactly like um, the road we have here in front of us right now, for instance. It changes and you have some of this, you have some flooded roads, you have some uh, potholes, you have other kind of obstacles as well. So it's, it's, it's a fantastic road to haul on and it is one of the five most dangerous roads in South America. So this is what I wanted to show you. You've seen two examples of dangerous roads on EAA. 
with the 70,000 plus kilometers of roads that are available for us in EA, I'm sure there are plenty others. And I would love to read your comments and get your tips on where to find roads like this on EAA and if I get enough good tips I'll probably make a top 10 list of the say most dangerous or most challenging or most beautiful roads on EAA sometime in the future but I'm gonna need your help to to find those roads and with that said, I want to thank you very, very much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you try these roads out once you've stopped looking at my videos and do some actual hauling instead. Uh, <laughs> if you did like the video, please click the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. In any case, I hope to see you again next time. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.